Welcome to this demonstration of community viz, including Scenario 360 and Scenario 3D. Right now we're looking at Scenario 360, the analysis component of community viz, and we're demonstrating how you can look at two different or as many different scenarios or alternatives as you would like within one project. For example, you might want to look at different land use alternatives and understand some of the impacts, whether they be economic, social, or environmental. Community Viz lets you do that automatically, or you can write your own models and formulas. Community Viz allows you to quickly edit and compare alternative land use plans. As you can see, we are using the Land Use Designer Painter tool to change the proposed land uses. This triggers updates to the associated impacts using predefined values in the land use models. The land use types and associated data are customizable. You might also want to examine different building alternatives. CommunityVids provides tools to help you build and analyze the impacts of such alternatives. Here's an example of one building plan using the CommunityViz build-out wizard. You can see that the points on the map represent future buildings, and the impacts associated with those buildings are charted here. Now, looking side by side, you can see this plan compared with an alternative. Once you've charted your models and associated impacts, you can also experiment with the assumptions behind them. For example, here we're experimenting with the assumptions about how many persons per household, and as we change it, the population changes, and so do all the impacts associated with the population. You can also change what year it is. For instance, here we're going to make it an earlier year when fewer buildings have been built, and therefore there's less population and less associated impacts. Similarly, if we move the year further out into the future, then there are more buildings and more population. This is a small site, but you can do this on a much larger scale as well. Another thing you can do is not only change numbers, but change the map. Here we've set colors based on suitability of location to new schools. Based on our criteria, green dots are locations that are more suitable, and red dots are locations that are less suitable. Also, as you can see, schools near trails carry a greater weight and therefore increase suitability. If we change a sensitive point on the map, such as a trail, you can watch as the suitability automatically updates. Assumption slider bars can also change the weight for different features. For example, if we lower the weight of schools near trails and raise the not near other schools weight, the suitability will automatically update and the map will change. Scenario 360 also includes numerous wizards for decision tools. One example is the 360 indicators wizard, which creates indicators to assess impacts of existing and new developments. Click through the wizards to decide what data you would like to include. Alternatively, with the formula editor, you can write customized and sophisticated formulas for custom analyses. There's a lot of information behind all of this analysis. Many reports are available, and you can post the reports to the web. You can include just about anything on a report, including maps, charts, indicator formulas, assumptions, and any descriptions that you've written about the various components in your analysis to help present this information to someone new. You can look at diagrams of the logic behind the analysis, and help and resources are available throughout. Another way you can help understand your proposals is to view them in 3D. Here we're looking at a 3D representation of the same project we've been working in, illustrated in 3D. It's one of several ways you can create 3D scenes from Scenario 360. You can navigate your scene using a variety of options in the 3D viewers. This is a free download from the CommunityViz website, which makes your scene freely shareable with others, including non-CommunityViz users. You'll note that the objects that you're looking at are associated with the objects in the 2D map, and you can turn on and off layers just as you would in regular ArcGIS. You can also experiment with transparencies in layers, as well as environmental effects such as fog, lighting, shadowing, and time of day. Another way to look at your analysis in 3D in more of a global and regional context is to export to Google Earth. 
Here we've exported a few of our layers from Scenario 360. This is the exact same scenario, but now viewed in a different viewer. You can see the two scenarios and the various layers available to you on the table of contents on the left, and you can navigate through your scene using the Google Earth settings. You can see here that the community viz time settings that you set up are automatically exported to Google Earth Timeline. You can also choose to export some of your Scenario 360 charts. This has been a short demonstration of community viz, including Scenario 360, Scenario 3D, and an export to Google Earth.